news many of us woke up to this morning, including President Donald Trump, the U.S., Canada, and Mexico bid, joint bid, to host the 2026 World Cup accepted, beating out Morocco with a vote of 134 to 65. So here's what we know. The three cities in Canada, three cities in Mexico, they are a lock. They will automatically host the games. In about a year and a half, 10 of the 17 cities in the states will be announced as host. For the final, the final, the bid committee suggested MetLife Stadium right here between these soccer balls in New York City. Now, for the semifinals, they offered up Dallas, as you can see over here, and, of course, Atlanta. The soccer governing body, FIFA, visited Atlanta in April to tour Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Now we play the waiting game to find out if they like what they saw. We might have to wait until 2020, but it looks very likely Atlanta will play host to one of the world's largest sporting events. When we had them in the stadium and when they hit the pitch um, and saw just how magnificent that building is, you could just see their eyes. You know, it was the first time they were seeing it. And you almost could tell that they were envisioning what the World Cup would be, you know, a semifinal would be in that, in that venue. The bid was 500 plus pages and some interesting nuggets in there, including the average price for a semifinal ticket. We're talking about $913. The success of soccer in the city and Atlanta United played a huge part in that bid. We're going to have a lot more on this a little later in the broadcast.